We're here at the Fall Festival. There's a lot of good science at a Fall Festival. The science we're going to learn today is the science involved with simple machines. Here we have an example of a simple machine called the wheel and axle. Miss Ellie's going to wrangle horses here at the fair. Police officers are leading off a little parade at the fall festival. Here comes the parade. When these Indians throw things, they're using their arms as a third-class lever. When these cheerleaders clap, they're using their hands as a third-class lever. Yet another example of the wheel and axle. Many more wheels and axles. Yes, students, we are in the country. Yeehaw! Now that the parade is over, people are starting to ride the horses again. The horse pack is actually a series of levers. Let's see how many simple machines you can name in this compound machine. A fishing pole is a third-class lever. Miss Ellie's friend Robert's going to demonstrate the combination wheel and ramp. Go, Robert! Simple machines make work easy. Miss Ellie's still giving horseback rides. It just goes on forever. The flag got all the way up there using a little pulley at the top. Oh. This man's making Christmas tree ornaments. The thing that's doing the cutting is a kind of wedge. This old tractor has practically a forest of levers on it. The tractor also has a lot of screws. This pedal is a combination lever and wedge. This incline plane has a rope on it. And the other side of the incline plane. This skateboard rebel is using the skateboard as a wheel and axle and a lever. Winter and Miss Ellie have walked about five miles today giving pony rides. They're pretty tired. At the end of a long day of wrangling horses, Miss Ellie's loading them up to take them home. Miss Ellie is closing the door. It's a second-class lever. Unfortunately, the hinges on the door don't exactly mesh up, so Miss Ellie has to lift the door with a little lever. That's right. It makes it a lot easier to lift the door this way if you use a lever. I can slide this lever underneath like this and pull it up. You gotta do it again. After hours of walking horses in the sun, Miss Ellie and Winter are ready for containers of liquid refreshment. Winter's container of liquid refreshment works off a lever.
But Miss Ellie's container of liquid refreshment works off a screw. All right. Drink it. Isn't that refreshing? Good. Well, the fall festival's over, and we've got the horses back home. They're here in the field eating grass. The problem with eating grass is that it doesn't grow in the winter time. So for the winter time, we have to store the grass in hay bales. Unfortunately, in recent years, we've had a hard time storing the hay in this old barn because the old barn doesn't have a floor. What happens is that in the winter when we store the hay bales on the ground, they get moldy. And the mold is bad for the horses. Miss Ellie's idea for putting a floor in the barn somehow involves myself and Jossie moving these hulking big railroad ties into the barn. These weigh about 300 pounds apiece. We're going to trick her by using simple machines to move these railroad ties. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to be moving the railroad ties into the barn. And um, before we set the railroad tie down, what we want to do is get the ground relatively level. Okay, <clears throat> now the dust in this barn is rather nasty. It's got lots of mildew and mold in it and all the dry hay. So I'm going to be wearing this mask so that I don't have an asthma attack during the night. Isn't this a fancy mask? I hope you all enjoy my mask. You can buy these at the dollar store for a dollar a piece. Um, what I'm going to use is a shovel. Now, I'm not going to use a pointed shovel like you're probably familiar with. I'm going to use a flat edge shovel because that way I can smooth it nice and even. So what I want to do is get a nice... Hold it, Miss Ellie. And the shovel is an example of another example of what kind of simple machine? That's right, a lever. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's a lever. Um, all I know is that it works. Okay. What I'm going to do is I want to smooth out this area evenly, but I want to get the ground so it's nice. What I'm going to do is some people think that they should have to dig the whole thing up. What we're going to do is use a flat edge and just chop along. If Mr. Pickett moves it in, he might be able Stop. to pan this a little bit better. Freeze. And besides being a lever, we also have the simple machine known as a wedge. Go. And we're going to just sort of chop it a little bit so that the ground is soft Using enough. a wedge and a lever together in one simple device. I didn't learn this from science. I learned this from art. In art, you use a lot of science. Uh. Okay, now the ground is kind of chopped and even. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take... A block, and I'm going to use this like a wedge. Is that right? Let's see. Yes, you'll be using that as a wedge. Okay, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to smooth along the ground so that I can kind of see where the rises are and where the flat areas are. Now we're going to using a wedge to smooth the dirt. Now it's a wedge because it has a sharp edge and it moves. Now we're using another little simple machine called the wheel and axle. What we did is we moved the cross tie over here with the tractor, and now we're going to scoot this big heavy thing in over there using the wheel and axle. It's simply going to roll with the cross tie. Everybody watch. Just pick it up, and it rolled right over. It's so light this way, even Miss Ellie can work it. All right, class, we've got all the railroad ties in. Miss Ellie's going to talk to you. Hi, class. You can see that these railroad ties are all in place. We used a level, we used a lever, and <coughs> another lever lever and um, a wedge. And <coughs> this is stuff I couldn't move by myself. But with the use of this little thing right here, this crowbar, which is a lever, and this little rolly thing right here, which we improvised as a wheel, this is the inside of a well, um, a well pump, we were able to move all of these towards the 